Back here in Milwaukee, the store Trend Benders at 35th and Capitol was one of the worst hit overnight in terms of looting and stolen property. We spoke with the owner who watched from home as his livelihood was ravaged. This surveillance video shows young people jumping through a broken out glass door at Trend Benders early Saturday morning after smashing through that door with an axe. You can see groups of them on a mad dash to get out with as much merchandise as possible. Owner Sam Ramahi got a call in the middle of the night from a friend who passed by the store. Immediately I checked my cameras at home. I have access to them and uh, I saw a swarm of people just running around all over my place. It was heartbreaking. Uh, I mean, there's no other way to explain it. Uh, helpless, you know, I mean, there's nothing you can do. It's not like I could just get up and come here and, you know, and do anything or uh, just praying to God that something would happen where they would just stop, stop the madness. This is how fully stocked his store was just seconds before the looting. Shoes, clothes, uh, all, you know, we deal with all name brand stuff here. Now this, it's something Ramahi isn't sure he can fully come back from. Just from merchandise alone around six to $700,000 that was wiped out in literally 15 minutes. Ramahi and his team spent Saturday cleaning up and assessing the damage. They have the right to be frustrated, they have the right to be mad, they have the right to be angry, they have the right to protest, but they don't have the right to come into small businesses that are owned here locally and destroy them and steal from them as a way to show how angry they are. He's worried the looting is not over. Uh, at the end of the day, this is all material stuff, but you know, this could get worse and worse. And he's not alone. Police say Trendbenders is one of at least 16 businesses in Milwaukee looted or damaged.